uh, why don't you film me? And she was like, huh? Seriously, why don't you film me? What's up guys, Dan Furlan here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, if not just that. Hit the like button. I make videos with and about the Canon EOS R, the Canon 90D and the Canon M50. It's about vlogs, tutorials, reviews, a lot of things. You may want to subscribe and activate the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. Okay, what do I talk about today? I talk about the gimbals. Actually, my gimbal is the Moza Aircross 2. Here it is. I made quite a few videos about it. Check them out when you get a chance and check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear, and check the link to Epidemic Sound if you want one month of awesome music and great sound effects for one month for free. The Moza Aircross 2 is a gimbal, right? Right. Do I use it often? Well, let me tell you. Well, first of all, I'm gonna put it back. I don't wanna hold it for the rest of the video. Well, actually, I don't use it much. Why? Because most of the times, for example, for my YouTube videos, I tend to run and gun, to do everything like fast and efficiently. So I shoot pretty much everything handheld. I'm lazy, I don't use it much. Because for example, I tend to shoot my B-rolls in 120 frames per second, and usually it's about static subjects that don't move, I just orbit around them. And when I move the camera, like shooting 120 frames per second for like five seconds like this, orbiting around, in the end, considering that 120 frames per second slows down to 25% of real speed. So those five seconds become like 20. So even though when I do like this, it might not be completely stable and smooth, but within this entire orbiting here, for sure there's more than half a second or even one second of smooth movement. And that one second, in 120 frames per second, when you play at 25% of real time speed, it becomes four or five seconds of smooth footage. Pretty convenient, isn't it? <laughs> but what if I need some real time shots? In 24 frames per second, what do I do? Well, I can use a tripod and I do it a lot and I can get some awesome smooth footage like tilting and panning, tilting and panning, that's it. So what if I need a different kind of shot? For example, this morning I went out with my wife and I carried with me the Canon EOS R and the Canon 90D. Since I was with my wife, I wanted to make a shot where I follow the subject and then start to go faster than the subject and then another shot with her subject, my wife, uh, followed me while I was filming her with the camera and me running backwards to film her. And another shot where I was supposed to follow my wife like by her side, filming her from her side. I guarantee you, there is no way to do that handheld. I mean, you could try, but I guarantee you the results would not be very good. So I put the Canon EOS R on the Moza Aircross 2 and we tried it shot once or twice and then I shot some more footage handheld in 120 frames per second. That's where you see the trees and flowers and more trees stuff like that and of course with the gimbal i was able to film also an establishing shot and this is what i put together check it out we go to new jersey your eyes say i'll be worried you said it was nothing but i know you get buried the
All right, so what do you think about it? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, don't forget to check the links in the description and see all my gear stuff and things, my gear. Then I thought, well, I have the Canon 90D. Uh, what am I gonna do with it today? I mean, I was there in the park, I had already shot my footage with the Canon USR and the gimbal. So, mm, if I use the Canon 90D on the gimbal, am I gonna shoot the same shot, like filming my wife? Well, then I thought, hmm, well, let's see. I turned to my wife and said, uh, why don't you film me? And she was like, huh? Seriously, why don't you film me? So she said, what do I have to do? At this point, I took the Canon 90D, I put it on the Mosa Aircross 2, I just adjusted the settings in the camera, I balanced the gimbal and gave it to her. And I said, why don't we try to make the same shots that I got with the Canon EOS R, just with this other camera and you do it. I'll be the subject. And we started with the establishing shot, with me walking from far away around the corner and appearing in frame, with my wife filming me, making a diagonal movement with the gimbal, trying to keep me well in frame. Then, in the other shot, she was following me from behind, and another shot, she was filming me from in front of me. And then we done also the shot from the side, with me walking. We tried this shot not more than twice, I guess. Then I took the camera, the 90D, and shot some extra footage handheld, just like I did with the Canon EOS R, with the intention to make a B-roll out of it. Even though those few shots of the trees, of the sun, of a plant, of more trees, were shot by me handheld, everything else, like the backbone of the B-roll, has been shot by my wife, a person who had never ever used the gimbal before. Check it out. So what do you think about it? Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I was surprised because uh, using a gimbal is not really complicated, but it's not very easy either. And for being her first time, I'm amazed. I mean, it's not bad at all. Again, even though it was not a very difficult shot, at the same time, it was not easy to keep it like so smooth. Like compared to many other people that when they use a gimbal for the first time and they follow the subject, there's like boing, 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 like bouncing. But in this case, I, I don't see that much, almost not at all. And I haven't applied any stabilization in post. Again, let me know what you think about it. To wrap it up, I used the Mozart Aircross 2 with the Canon EOS R and the 35mm f1.8 and with the Canon 90D with the 24mm EFS 24mm f2.8, the pancake lens. And I have to say, uh, the Moza Aircross 2 did a pretty good job, as usual. It never lets me down. So is this gimbal a good first gimbal? like for people who never owned one, who never used a gimbal. Well, you've seen it. My wife had never used a gimbal before and you saw the results. You judge. All right, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>